is now in England for a working visit. He's already met with Prime Minister Theresa May for a gala dinner. Uh, Dr. Alan Mendoza is executive director of the Henry Jackson Society and joins us right now. A lot to report, doctor. First off, uh, the president uh, said some through Sarah Sanders. The president says, I like and respect Theresa May. She was very good to me during NATO. Thanks for all our hospitality. He's going to be in Scotland soon and then on to with Vladimir Putin. How do you feel about how this visit's gone? Well, so far, I think it's been a typically interesting trip by the president. He's arrived on the back of a huge success at NATO, where he's moved the needle um, on defence expenditure, but come out also, very importantly, saying how, how he personally believes that the uh, alliance is an important one. So that's a positive. He's arrived in the UK. He's made some comments about Brexit, which is his usual way of stirring things up. But then he's gone to a very serious gala dinner where he's met our business leaders, and we've begun discussions on uh, how we can forge a trade uh, agreement between the two countries. So it started, I think, in a uh, typically mm -hmm. whirlwind style, and I expect it con to continue in that as well. So The Sun has a story of an interview with the president, and the headlines is, Trump's Brexit blast. I told May how to, how to do Brexit, but she wrecked it. The U.S. trade deal with Britain is off if she doesn't basically get it right and leave the EU. What's the ramifications of that statement? Well, I think it's important to firstly note that what the president said was that on his sort of understanding at this moment in time, it looked like it was going to be an EU deal. And therefore, if that was the case, uh, the US wouldn't be able to do a trade deal. Now, I suspect that as the visit continues, we may get, as with the NATO summit, a very different statement at the end or slightly afterwards, suggesting that he might have been, you know, kind of convinced that it is possible to do a trade deal. So let's start from that point. However, however, it's a very real and very significant political development that he's put in, in writing essentially, that he thinks at present this deal is not going to make sense for Britain and indeed for the US. So that is a significant political blow for the Prime Minister and we can't diminish that. Right. And then we have uh, Vladimir Putin next and NATO was kind of worried, some members of NATO, that the president might decide to call off military exercises or pledge something similar to North Korea. I don't think there's a reason to worry about something like that. There's not much on the agenda. Do you think this will be a positive meeting? Well, I think it's certainly going to be, again, an interesting meeting. Here you have uh, the two leaders meeting essentially one-on-one -on -one for the first time, or with close yeah. advisors, depending on how it ends up going. Um, I think you're right to suggest that there won't be major agreements made or uh, sort of surprises coming mm -hmm. out of it. So I think it's really a question of, of how they get on and indeed mm -hmm. if there is a possibility of um, getting to a place right. where they can both come to agreement going down the line. It's unbelievable. Uh, now you guys ha have uh, the Trump machine and the tornado. You're in the middle of all that uh, news that we get on a regular basis. Alan Mendoza, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Meanwhile,